share with you one of my favorite routines from my Pilates strength class. This is all about the abdominals. These five movements that we're going to go through today will target your lower abs, your obliques, as well as your six-pack abs or your six-pack muscles. You can choose to use weights or not. Either way, it's still going to be challenging. We will offer modifications if you are taking care of your lower back or if you want to take it a little bit easier. We're going to go through, as I said, five movements. We're going to create, we're going to complete, sorry, <laughs> we're going to create chaos. We're going to complete 10 reps of each exercise or hold it for a 10 count and then we're going to do three rounds, okay? So grab your water, your towel, if you're going to use weights or whatever prop you want to use, go ahead and grab them and I'll meet you back in a few seconds. Welcome back. So our first exercise or movement is or are sit-ups. So for me, I like to keep my legs close, so I work my inner thighs, and I also like to bring my heels pretty close to my bum, so I really get into those six-pack abs. You can also choose to keep your feet at hips distance and move the feet a little bit further away if your lower abs are not as strong, and you want to get a little bit of help from your hip flexors. I've got a five-pound dumbbell that I'm working with just to add a little bit more resistance to make it a little bit more challenging. But as I said, you can choose to leave the weights out. We're going for 10 reps. So let's get it done. Off we go. One. Two. Three. Four. slightly and you want your shoulders to be over your wrist. You can keep your knees down or you can choose to take the knees off. Either way, you're locking the shoulder blades on the back of the rib cage. You are pulling the ribs in, squeezing the glutes, and then we're going to go for it. Another slow count or if you want to, you can choose to hold it for 30 seconds. Let's get ready. Off we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And rest. Okay. Next, we're going to play with boat pose. So, again, coming into the seated position, similar to the sit ups. And I forgot to mention for the sit ups, if you're not able to sit all the way up, just lift the head and shoulders up. Okay, so we're starting in this position here with the legs together, and you're on the top of your sitting bones. We're going to roll to just behind them. So I'll show you the modified version first. Arms out, they can face each other, or if you prefer, you can have the palms to face up. You could hold weights and do this too if you wanted to. So you're going to come up onto the tiptoes. You'll take a big breath in. As you exhale, you're going to roll behind the sitting bones and come back up. So modified, you'll stay here. Alright, you could play with taking one leg off and 
come back if you wanted to. But for the full expression of this exercise, both feet are going to come off. So you're rolling behind the sitting bones, lifting the feet off, and this is where we start. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good stuff. <laughs> Last one, obliques. Again, modified. You're on the back, head and shoulders off, so you're on the tips of the shoulder blades. You can interlace the fingers and hold your head in your hands or place your fingertips by the temples. Either way, you want to make sure that you can keep, keep space between your chin and your chest without over flexing your neck. So make a fist, place the fist on the chest, drop the chin. When you touch the fist, that's the space you want to maintain throughout. So for, for modifying, you'll keep the feet down, you'll just come up and twist, try not to drop the head and shoulders, and twist, okay? If you're not modifying, legs up, heels in line with knees, lower back on the floor, and away we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. All right, end of round one. Moving right into round two. Grab your weight. So I'll show you that modification for the setup. So legs together or at hip distance. If you cannot sit all the way up, this is where you'll come to. Okay, until you get the strength to sit all the way up, all right? So choose weights, no weights, legs together, legs apart. Let's get it done. One, two, three, four, Right into the hollow hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right into our plank. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Into our boat. I'm really beginning to feel this. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Concentrate us on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Into the obliques. support guys. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! End of round two. Are you ready for round three? This is it. This is a home stretch. I'm really feeling the burn. Hope you are too. Legs together. <sighs> Let's get it done. And off we go. Woo! One,
Hollow hold. Ten count. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Off we go into the plank. strength. 